Hi, it's Steve. And um, come out here to do a little practicing, but with prairie dogs. Now, of course, Nevada don't have prairie dogs, unfortunately. So I kind of had to make my own up there. I guess I got 10 targets. And they're from like um, 95 yards to 142 yards, I think. I'll put it in the video. Exactly. I got it all laser ranged out. Now it's about 54 degrees out this morning. 55 right now, 53, can't make up his mind. And we got a slight wind coming from about this direction. So, but at this distance, distances, um, 95 to 140 yards, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, this is just mainly because I want to go uh, prairie dog hunting someday. But like I said, we don't have none here. So I got to travel over to the prairies. Um, each target is marked one through 10. So after I done shooting my 10 rounds, I'm going to do one shot per target, see how it goes. Um, I'll take a close up of it, then add it with the video. We're going to start off with the bolt action 223. And we're going to hit suppress. That's why I'm not wearing hearing protection. And we're going to go shot one first and go from there. There's number two. Okay, number four now. Number five is 133 yards. There's number five. Number six is a hundred yards, hundred and six yards, but seven is a hundred thirty seven. Number eight is 136. There's eight. Number nine is 128. And number 10 is 109. All right, 
So that's my first 10 shots with this. I'm gonna go take uh, close-ups of each target. So I'll add it to the video, you'll see it. Then we'll be back with the new rifle. Okay, so um, as you can see, I did pretty good. There was one that was like right on the edge, number three there. Uh, number four, I think was good enough for a kill shot, even though it was off a little bit to the left. Um, the rest were all really nice, you know. So um, that was the Mossberg MV, MV, MVP, excuse me. So that was had the blue dot. I'll put a different color dot for the 24 inch AR-15. And um, again, we'll shoot it one through 10, go up and I'll take uh, close-ups of them and add it to the video and production and see how it goes. All right, now of course this one's a bit louder, so I am gonna be wearing my hearing protection for this one. Okay, number one. Just to focus, the parallax. Okay, number two. Hey, I pulled on that one. That was that was my bad. Okay, number three, I gotta go out to 142. Okay, number four was out there close to the same. Good hits. Okay, I think number five changes again. Yeah, number five goes to 133. Okay, just gotta find number five. There it is. Number six. Back to 106. Number seven. 137. I might have fucked up that one too. We'll see when we get up there. Eight is 136. It's eight. <laughs> Gotta keep checking my phone on the distances. 128. And number 10 was like 106, I think, 109. There it is. All right, 
you see in shot two, I screwed that one up. I, I could see that in the scope. Um, not sure about it. I think it was number eight. I'm not sure about it. It's too far away to see. Um, so we're going to go out there and take a look. Okay, as you can see, I missed. I had three complete misses up there. Um, and one was like right on the edge, a fourth one. So not so good. Um, and that's completely my fault. Uh, you see some of the other hits, including the one farthest out, number four, was like dead centered. So that, that was just me screwing it up. Okay, so now I'm going to try the 6.5 Grendel, also 24 inch AR. Um, I think I'm going to do pretty good with this, even though I shoot the Wolf Mil Military Classic 100 grain. So it's like the cheapest ammo you can buy for this. Um, but between 95 and 147 yards, I think it's going to do okay. So let's see how it does. Number two now. And number three is going to be farther out. Number four. Far enough, I've got to raise my elevation a little bit. My legs. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like I completely screwed up that shot. Number 10. All right. So anyway, I need to see. Um, I need some more practice. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.